support. No, I still, please. Hopefully everyone's not too tuckered out from celebrating America's Independence Day yesterday. This will be for the week of July 2nd. 2019. On this day in music back in 1963, the first Beatles song charted in the United States, oddly enough in the form of a cover done by Del Shannon of the Beatles From Me To You at number 87. So a Beatles song actually charted in the US before the actual Beatles did. <laughs> Seven Days Walking is actually a collection of seven releases that Ludovico Arnaudi, an Italian composer, is doing. Obviously, Day 4 is the fourth. Day 5 is gonna actually going to be released in two weeks. Regardless, once all seven releases are out, they will be released in a box set so you can have all of them. Ludovico Arnaudi is on piano, Federico Mecozzi doubling on violin and viola, and Reddy Hassa on cello. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. So Sean Johnson is more known for being the lead singer of Tonic Solfa, the vocal group, but if you like traditional pop music a la Sinatra, but you want it with more of a contemporary and modern flair, I can easily recommend this album. Come on. Obviously, Philip Bailey is more known as one of the lead singers of Earth, Wind, and Fire, and he hasn't done a solo album since, what, 2002's Soul on Jazz? So if you're really chomping at the bit for some more solo Philip Bailey, you most certainly have it. Singing, I love rock and roll. Help me, stranger. Help me get it off my mind. Give me back on my feet. Brother, can you spare the time? Talk about a slow burn, they've been active since 2005 and this is only their third album. Consolers of the Lonely was back in 2008, so it's been 11 years, really. That being said, Jack White's a busy man, so I can't hold it against him. Album's great, though. I can't go back to the clink no more. I had to count it blues, now every day I'm counting blues. No lean in mountain dues, goo up, I'm so proud of you. Two collab albums, three compilation albums, a soundtrack, seven EPs, 72 mixtapes, and this is his 14th studio album. Boy, we get a lot of guap these days. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. It's good to see we didn't have to wait too long after Old Town Road for some larger release. After listening through this, honestly, the thing that impressed me the most, Lil Nas X can sing pretty well. It caught me off guard, but it was very enjoyable. <laughs> Nothing new, and not even from the Chainsmokers, which is weird because they were doing the World War Joy EP releases monthly, but apparently they just skipped June. Maybe we'll get something in July. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! <laughs> Hey, look what got back up here, and it's no surprise, Khalid's been doing well in the R&B industry lately. I'm a sucker for you. Fun fact, Sucker, off this album is their first single to ever go platinum. Why do you know? Why aren't you scared of me? Why do you care for me? When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Hopefully she's relaxing right now. She just finished her fourth leg on Sunday in Europe. She's beginning her fifth leg tomorrow, and she'll be back in the United States for a handful of shows. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Honestly surprised this isn't number one, especially since Old Town Road has been number one for 13 weeks. Only three more weeks before it's tied for the longest running number one of all time. Help me stranger, help me get it off my mind. Again, people still like to say rock is dead, but Jack White certainly doesn't think so. This is the second time he's number one with a rock album, the previous one being Boarding House Reach, given that was a solo album and not with the raconteurs. So stay cool today, it's really hot out, at least where I am, and enjoy this music. And now I need some help out of my stove, please! My stove!